Are you ready to dive into the enigmatic world of Sigma females? Buckle up, because we're about to uncover the seven annoying things that Sigma females absolutely hate. Get ready for some insights and maybe a few moments of self-reflection. So, grab your favorite beverage, settle in, and let's explore the quirks and annoyances that make Sigma females tick. Hey there, fellow explorers of the internet. Welcome back to our channel, where we delve into the fascinating intricacies of human behavior. Today, we're shining a spotlight on a particularly intriguing personality type, the Sigma female. Now, for those of you who might be scratching your heads, wondering, what on earth is a Sigma female? Fear not. Allow me to give you a quick rundown. Picture this. A woman who dances to the beat of her own drum, marches to the rhythm of her own tune, and couldn't care less about following the crowd. That, my friends, is the essence of a Sigma female. She's independent, she's mysterious, and she's not afraid to chart her own path, regardless of what society might think. All right, drum roll, please. It's time to unveil the main event, the seven annoying things that Sigma females absolutely hate. From petty annoyances to major pet peeves, we're covering it all. So whether you're a Sigma female nodding along in agreement, or someone intrigued to learn more about this captivating personality type, stick around. You won't want to miss a minute of the action. Number 1. Lack of Independence First up on our list of annoyances for Sigma females is the lack of independence. These women cherish their autonomy like a prized possession. They thrive on the freedom to make their own decisions, pursue their passions, and navigate life on their own terms. For Sigma females, independence isn't just a preference, it's a core part of who they are. So, what exactly constitutes a breach of independence in the eyes of a Sigma female? Well, imagine someone constantly hovering over their shoulder, dictating what they should do or how they should live their life. It's like having a personal GPS tracker attached to them 24-7, with someone constantly trying to reroute their journey. Whether it's overbearing friends, nosy family members, or controlling partners, Sigma females can't stand feeling suffocated or confined. Now let's talk about why these behaviors are such a major annoyance for Sigma females. Picture this. You're a free spirit, a lone wolf roaming the wilderness of life, and suddenly someone comes along and tries to clip your wings. It's like being trapped in a cage, unable to spread your wings and soar. These infringements on their independence can leave Sigma females feeling frustrated, stifled, and downright irritated. After all, who wants to feel like their every move is being scrutinized or controlled? So, if you want to get on a Sigma female's good side, remember one golden rule. Respect their independence like you would your own, and watch as your relationship flourishes. Number 2. Mindless Small Talk Next on our list of annoyances for Sigma females is the dreaded realm of mindless small talk. Unlike some who might thrive on discussing the weather or the latest gossip, Sigma females crave conversations that delve deeper, conversations that spark intellectual curiosity and emotional connection. To them, small talk is like nails on a chalkboard, a meaningless chatter that serves no purpose other than filling the silence. So, what exactly constitutes mindless small talk in the eyes of a Sigma female? Well, picture someone approaching them with the classic, how's the weather? Or, did you catch the game last night? While these topics might be perfectly fine for casual acquaintances, Sigma females find them utterly mundane and uninspiring. They'd much rather discuss philosophy, psychology, or the meaning of life than waste their time on superficial banter. Now let's talk about why engaging in meaningful conversations is so crucial when it comes to interacting with Sigma females. Imagine you're a thirsty traveler wandering through a desert, desperately searching for an oasis. For Sigma females, meaningful conversations are that oasis. 
an oasis of connection, understanding, and intellectual stimulation. When you engage with them on deeper topics, you're not just scratching the surface, you're diving into the depths of their soul, forging a bond that transcends the superficial. So if you want to win over a Sigma female, put down the small talk playbook and pick up a copy of Plato's Republic instead. Show them that you're willing to explore the intricacies of the human experience, to ponder life's big questions and to engage in conversations that leave a lasting impression. Trust me, they'll appreciate the effort and who knows, you might just discover a kindred spirit along the way. Number three, being interrupted. Now let's talk about a pet peeve that really grinds the gears of Sigma females, being interrupted. These women hold their time and thoughts in high regard, like precious gems to be treasured. They carefully consider their words before speaking, and when someone interrupts them, it's like slamming the door on a blossoming idea or cutting short a symphony before the final crescendo. For Sigma females, interruptions aren't just rude, they're a direct assault on their autonomy and intellect. So, what exactly constitutes an interruption in the eyes of a Sigma female? Well, picture this scenario. You're in the middle of sharing a brilliant idea during a brainstorming session, only to be cut off by a colleague who's eager to share their own thoughts. Or perhaps you're engaged in a passionate debate with a friend, only to have them interject with a completely unrelated topic. These interruptions can derail the flow of conversation, disrupt the natural rhythm of thought, and leave Sigma females feeling unheard and undervalued. Now, let's talk about how we can improve our communication with Sigma females and avoid the dreaded interruption. First and foremost, it's essential to practice active listening. Instead of waiting for your turn to speak, truly listen to what the Sigma female has to say, allowing them to express themselves fully before chiming in. Secondly, be mindful of your body language and verbal cues. Avoid cutting them off mid-sentence or displaying signs of impatience or disinterest. And finally, Respect their time and thoughts by giving them the space to articulate their ideas without interruption. By following these simple tips, you can foster more meaningful and productive conversations with Sigma females, allowing their brilliant minds to shine bright and their voices to be heard. So, the next time you find yourself in a discussion with a Sigma female, remember patience, attentiveness and respect are the keys to unlocking the treasure trove of wisdom that lies within. Number 4. Being micromanaged. Let's delve into another irritation that Sigma females can't stand. Being micromanaged. These individuals are like lone wolves roaming the wilderness of life, charting their own course and relishing in their independence. They thrive on autonomy, preferring to take the reins and steer their own ship rather than being guided by someone else's hand. To a Sigma female, micromanagement isn't just a nuisance, it's a direct assault on their sense of freedom and self-reliance. So what exactly constitutes micromanagement in the eyes of a Sigma female? Well, imagine someone constantly looking over your shoulder, nitpicking every little detail of your work, or questioning your every decision. It's like having a backseat driver critiquing your every move, except instead of driving, you're navigating the intricacies of life and work. Whether it's a boss who can't resist meddling in every aspect of your job, or a partner who insists on micromanaging household chores, Sigma females find this level of scrutiny suffocating and stifling. Now let's talk about how micromanagement can hinder the productivity and creativity of Sigma females. Picture this. You're a creative genius with a million ideas swirling around in your head. But every time you try to bring them to life, someone swoops in and micromanages every aspect of your process. 
It's like trying to paint a masterpiece with someone constantly peering over your shoulder, dictating which colors to use and where to place each brushstroke. This level of interference not only stifles their creativity, but also erodes their confidence and motivation. By allowing Sigma females the freedom to spread their wings and soar, you're not just empowering them to reach their full potential. You're also fostering a culture of trust, respect, and collaboration. So the next time you're tempted to micromanage a Sigma female, take a step back and trust in their ability to shine. After all, the greatest masterpieces are often created when we give artists the space to unleash their creativity and let their imaginations run wild. Number five, forced socializing. Now let's explore another annoyance for Sigma females, forced socializing. These individuals are selective about their social interactions, preferring quality over quantity when it comes to their circle of friends and acquaintances. They thrive in intimate settings where they can engage in meaningful conversations and forge genuine connections, but they balk at the idea of being thrust into large crowds or forced into superficial social gatherings. So, where do Sigma females encounter forced socializing? Well, imagine being invited to a networking event where the room is buzzing with small talk and superficial exchanges or being pressured to attend a family gathering where you barely know anyone and have little in common with the other guests. For Sigma females, these situations can feel like being a fish out of water, out of place, uncomfortable and longing for the solace of solitude. Now let's discuss why it's crucial to respect the need for solitude and selective social interactions for Sigma females. Picture this, you're a lone wolf, wandering through the wilderness of life, seeking solace in the quiet embrace of nature. For Sigma females, solitude isn't just a preference, it's a lifeline, a chance to recharge their batteries and reconnect with themselves on a deeper level. By respecting their need for solitude, you're not just honoring their boundaries, you're also creating space for them to thrive and flourish. So the next time you invite a Sigma female to a social gathering or networking event, remember to respect their boundaries and preferences. Instead of pressuring them to attend, offer them the option to participate on their own terms or extend an invitation to a more intimate setting where they can truly shine. By honoring their need for solitude, you're not just being considerate, you're also strengthening your relationship and fostering a deeper sense of trust and understanding. Number six, lack of authenticity. Moving on to another annoyance for Sigma females, the lack of authenticity. These individuals place a high value on genuine connections and meaningful relationships. They can easily detect insincerity and are quick to distance themselves from those who come across as fake or superficial. For Sigma females, authenticity isn't just a nicety. It's a non-negotiable prerequisite for building trust and fostering genuine connections. So what exactly constitutes inauthenticity in the eyes of a Sigma female? Well. Imagine someone who constantly wears a mask, hiding their true thoughts and feelings behind a facade of politeness and pleasantries. Or perhaps it's someone who engages in flattery and false praise, all the while harboring ulterior motives beneath the surface. These behaviors can range from subtle to overt, but to a Sigma female, they all ring hollow and leave a sour taste in their mouth. Now let's talk about why authenticity is so crucial when it comes to building relationships with Sigma females. Picture this, you're navigating the murky waters of human connection, searching for a beacon of light amidst the darkness. For Sigma females, authenticity is that beacon, a guiding star that illuminates the path to genuine connection and mutual understanding. When you show up as your true self, flaws and all, you're not just building a relationship, you're laying the foundation for a bond that's built to last. So, the next time you interact with a Sigma female, remember to be genuine, sincere, and true to yourself. Instead of putting on a facade 
or trying to impress with empty compliments. Show them the real you, the imperfect, vulnerable and authentic you. By embracing authenticity, you're not just winning over a Sigma female. You're forging a connection that's rooted in trust, honesty and genuine affection. And isn't that what true relationships are all about? Number 7. Overly Emotional Reactions Let's dive into another pet peeve for Sigma females. Overly emotional reactions. These individuals value rationality and composure, preferring to approach situations with a level head and a calm demeanor. They're not ones to be swayed by emotional outbursts or dramatic displays. They'd much rather rely on logic and reason to navigate the complexities of life. To a Sigma female, emotional reactions can feel like an unnecessary distraction, pulling focus away from the task at hand and clouding judgment. So what exactly constitutes an overly emotional reaction in the eyes of a Sigma female? Well, imagine someone who flies off the handle at the slightest provocation, reacting with anger, frustration or tears at the drop of a hat. Or perhaps it's someone who magnifies minor inconveniences into major catastrophes, turning molehills into mountains with their exaggerated responses. These types of reactions can be exhausting for Sigma females who prefer to approach conflicts with a cool head and a rational mindset. Now, let's talk about how to approach conflicts with Sigma females in a way that resonates with their preference for rationality and composure. First and foremost, it's essential to maintain a calm and composed demeanor, even in the face of adversity. Instead of reacting impulsively or letting emotions run wild, take a step back and assess the situation with a clear mind and a rational perspective. By approaching conflicts calmly and logically, you're not just diffusing tension, you're also demonstrating respect for the Sigma female's preference for rational discourse. So the next time you find yourself in a disagreement with a Sigma female, remember to keep your emotions in check and approach the situation with a cool head and a rational mindset. Instead of resorting to dramatics or theatrics, focus on finding common ground, exploring solutions and moving forward together as a team. By embracing rationality and composure, you're not just resolving conflicts, you're strengthening your relationship and fostering a deeper sense of understanding and mutual respect. In conclusion, we've explored the seven annoying things that Sigma females absolutely hate, from the lack of independence to the pressure to conform. These individuals value autonomy, meaningful connections, and authenticity above all else. And it's essential for us to respect and honor their preferences. By understanding the unique qualities and preferences of Sigma females, we can foster stronger relationships, cultivate greater empathy, and create a more inclusive and supportive environment for everyone. So to all our viewers out there, I encourage you to take these insights to heart and approach your interactions with Sigma females with empathy, understanding and respect. Let's celebrate their independence, embrace their uniqueness and honor their boundaries, creating a world where everyone feels valued and accepted for who they are. This is Motivation Today. Thanks for watching.